What is up my friends? I'm here at Sky Park at Santa's Village. I'm in Southern California, far away from Boulder. Why am I here? I'm not here to see Santa. Aww. I'm here to ride bikes, and I'm here to ride e-bikes specifically. Oh yeah! This is Bosch's five year anniversary of being in the United States, and you're probably thinking, well, Bosch has been here a lot longer than that. I have power tools with the Bosch name on it. This is the Bosch e-bike systems five year anniversary and we're gonna rock these e-bikes all over this park. I've never been here before. I'm really excited. When I refer to a Bosch e-bike system, what does that mean? There's three components to it. The first is the display on the handlebar. We have a variety of displays that we develop. This one in particular is a Kiox. Then the next part is the battery. In this example, this is using our power tube battery, so it's discreetly hidden in the down tube. And then the final piece of the system is the drive unit, which is where all of the power comes to amplify your pedal power. So you guys all know how I feel about e-bikes. I love them, I got my mom an e-bike, it totally changed her life. She can now hang with me on bike rides, she goes grocery shopping on her bike. And now today, I'm gonna to try out e-mountain bikes, something I've never done before. So just to give you a quick rundown of how this works, this little computer right here is like your best friend. You push this thing to go up and down in the speeds, and there's no throttle. Bosch doesn't make anything with the throttle, and throttles are like motorcycles where you just rev it up and you fly. This is all pedal assist. And today, I've only used Eco and EMTB. I mean, then you go up to turbo, and uh, I haven't needed that yet. I mean, I imagine that's for like, maybe at the end of the day, and you're just tired, and you wanna go up a steep hill or something like that. But so far, being in the two lowest zones have been A-OK. -okay. I've also been riding for about two hours, and I still have about 81% of my battery left. So easily, on one battery, you could rage this thing all day. This guy here is one of my mountain biking heroes. When I was getting into the sport back into the mid 90s, this guy was the man, Hans No Way Ray, one of the best trials riders ever. And now he's rocking e-bikes, buddy. That's right, man. Tell That's me, right. tell me why you love e-bikes. Dude, e-bikes are a good thing, you know. They come at the right time, and they're an awesome way to ride bikes and have fun. And I tell you, I've been riding e-bikes for. <laughs> I, the first time I ever rode an e-bike was actually in 1996 with President George Bush. <laughs> we showed him an early Schwinn e-bike, you know, right. that's talking about pioneer stuff. No, but I had an e-bike 10 years ago and I've been riding them on and off and lately more and more. But I still ride my regular bike um, more than, than an e-bike actually. But I like the new challenges e-bikes bring. They're fun. They, you know, I can climb up stuff that I could never do before. Sometimes you feel like you want to do an easier ride, or sometimes you feel like you want to do this epic in the backcountry where you take two batteries, and it's it's just a it's a good good thing. It's a good thing. All right. And so some people call it cheating. What do you say to that? Cheating. You only cheat if you if you race somebody with it who doesn't have one, <laughs> then it, then it's cheating. But anything else, it's like is a guy with a titanium frame cheating a guy who has a steel frame? No, it's like it, it's it's just like a different thing. It's not it's not cheating. And I tell you, most of the times when I come back from an e-bike ride, I'm soaked in sweat. I get a workout and different. I work out different muscles and. Uh, some of them are in my in my face because I'm smiling so much. Yeah. <laughs> Bicycles have always been part of my life, but um I don't know, I'm just uh, older, I'm getting, I get a little more injuries and a little more screws in my body and uh, I'm just, I'm just having a blast. I mean, I just, I, it's, it's my church, man. I go ride my bicycle before I go to work and uh, it's what I love. I love getting out in the wilderness and uh, going to work and working hard, but uh, definitely it's every morning I try to get on my bike and go for a two or three hour ride. Yeah, I have like uh, four or five e-bikes in my garage all the time and Usually every day I'm riding with my friends or family, my kids, um, my wife. It's just uh, kind of makes it a level playing field out there for us. And 
you know, just have a blast, get to talk and uh, communicate and, you know, otherwise they go off and jump on their cell phones, but when on a bicycle, man, they're just, we're all talking and having a blast together. Still getting a workout, as you can tell, I'm breathing a little bit hard. Not as hard as I would be if I didn't have a boost, but the great thing about this is uh, you can just session these hills over and over and over and over because you're not completely exhausting yourself. Whoa, mama. Do you see the smile on my face? This is quite amazing. I am loving this. <laughs> Woo! Nice. nice. Hello. 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 So here I am deep in the woods of Sky Park and I run across these guys with cameras and I'm like, what are you doing? So why don't you just tell them what you guys do? We are an electric bike shop based out of Southern California. And we uh, also just kind of broke into doing some e-bike packing videos and uh, yeah. lifestyle tips for people, yeah. trying to help people just uh, understand e-bikes and learn about them a little bit more. So uh, we're called Fly Rides and we're just uh, out here collabing with Doozer. You wanna know why I'm really excited to be here besides being able to ride my bike all day with all these cool people? It's snowing in Boulder, and it's about 85 degrees here, and uh, that makes me happy. I don't know if I'm going home, not for a while at least. I am sold, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not so sure that I'm gonna go out and buy an e-bike, but maybe someday, and I can see how these things are only gonna grow in popularity. It just allows you to ride more essentially and you know you hear people say things like e-bikes are, are cheating it's like well who are you cheating yourself i mean as long as you're having fun having a great time outside breathing fresh air you're doing it right this is really cool i found santa's house he lives right here in southern california who knew check it out and look santa rides a bike of course Santa rides a bike. 